That was fun. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to green and clean beauty, and I am back today with a dedicated product review for the Honest Beauty Liquid Lipstick. This is a new product. I have some information for you. I'm gonna tell you the pros, I'm gonna tell you the con, I'm gonna give you my final verdict. So without further ado, let's get into it. Heads up, if you're going from toxic to non-toxic and have no clue where to start, Check out my free green beauty guide back on the website. It's the one pager I wish I had when I first started out. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another one. So we're all clear. You are getting my 100% honest opinion. Every time I did not buy these, these were gifted. I want you to know that I am always upfront and transparent with this community. But as you know, if you're a subscriber, thank you. If not, make sure you subscribe if you like this video. I do not hold back on my opinion and I use my scorecard to get as objective as possible. So that's what you're gonna get again today. All right, so what are the details on this new liquid lipstick? There are seven shades available, holding two of my favorites. $12.99, amazing price point. You really can't beat their prices. They're so good. Cruelty free, vegan. It is promised to last without drying, which is kind of a common issue with liquid lipsticks, especially those that get a little bit more on the matte end of things. This is a shine to matte application, they say. Basically, it gets you to matte, so matte. It's supposed to be hydrating, and uh, that's pretty much it. First so. question, which is all about ingredients. How do they look? I have some colors and swatches that I can show you here. There were some may contain ingredients in there that had me going, Good to know, maybe slightly iffy, but I have all of that listed back on the site. Click the link below for the ingredient breakdown. I give it to you all there so you can see it and you can see EWG ratings. Yeah, color, how is the color payoff? Currently, I am wearing this passion, no. This is off duty. It is a more muted neutral color for me and my skin tone. I love it. Color payoff here is incredible incredibly good. It has to be one of the main selling points. In my opinion, it just pops and it does a great job. There's one more key thing that I was looking for here, which I will get to in a second. Overall for color payoff, I think it did an amazing job. And the color range is really nice too. You have your more subtle colors, you have your richer colors. And then in my opinion, you have those like fun, poppy, playful colors. One of my favorites is also Passion, which I actually was wearing for a recent video. And I had like a first impression flip out for that. So subscribe to the channel. Everybody likes free stuff. I get it. All right. What should we try though? Mm, I kind of like passion. It's very me. Very passionate. Ooh. Hey girl. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Here we go. Uh oh, I love it. It's sort of like, woo, sort of like a soft raspberry. You know what I mean? Ooh, guys, hello, ladies, gentlemen. Mm, mm, mm. It feels, feels creamy, but lightweight, moisturizing. And I love the doe foot applicator. These are so far, I'm, I'm like really loving this. First impression. Very impressive, so that was fun. They did an incredible job. Five out of five, super saturated color. How does this color last? Well, I like to do a week's worth of testing usually. I do a few full day wear tests. Very rarely do I wear a liquid lipstick that actually lasts through eating. Uh, this really did a good job. I mean, yeah, it did wear away in the center of the lip, but Seriously, the way that it held up throughout the day, very impressive, stuck around for a while, and it received a five out of five. This is the other question, which is a biggie for me, and that is, is it drying? I did not find this liquid lipstick to be drying. Also, key for me, I can't stand when I get something called a lip velvet. Sometimes that just sucks the life out of my lips, and it drives me nuts. Like, you put it on in the morning, and I think, oh yeah, totally. About an hour in, I'm just rubbing it off my face because it's driving me crazy. That did not happen here. I found this to be non-drying. I did think that kind of midday application was a good thing. Kind of needed to happen just to kind of spruce it up and refresh, which I don't think is, is a ding in any way. So I wouldn't say it was drying. I would say it's far from that. It got a little bit stuck on the lip in a sense. Like you can see lip lines in there a little, not the outside line, but you know, you can see the folds of the lip, which sounds weird. It wasn't as emollient and moisturizing as some of the things I've tried, like a cream lipstick, a reapplication, or a balm underneath, which I tried. I tried the Oleoe Also Balm, which is like my number one love that balm. Put that 
on first and put this on top and that really helped quite a bit. So that's just one little tip. I do recommend doing that and it didn't screw up the color or application of the liquid lipstick on top. It received a four out of five. Texture, how is texture? Right, this is kind of a big one for me too. Does it feel sticky? Is it tacky? Is it too glossy? No, obviously it's not glossy. Is it too matte? Is it too whatever? I felt like the texture here was very smooth upon application. It almost at first goes on as slightly whipped in feel. It's moisturizing, but it does kind of have that tackiness to it. You know it's there, you can feel it. It's not one of those you apply and you're like, oh, I'm not wearing anything. When your lips touch, you can feel it. You can, I hopefully you understand what I'm saying there. It's not like this creamy, dreamy, like balm situation, but it's not really meant to be. I wouldn't use this for lip hydration. I would use this for long lasting coverage. A really great color, a four out of five on texture. Okay, so how's the scent? There's really no scent. I do not smell anything, which yay for me because I mean, there's a little bit of a scent, but it's nothing. It doesn't smell like cupcakes and whipped cream because usually that's a sign that it's really toxic. No scent, very happy camper, no migraines. Love it, five out of five. Is this a consciously created product? I know, cruelty free, vegan, liquid lipstick sword fight. Yay, that's amazing, love those things. This is in plastic, so it's, I'm guessing, net new plastic. Uh, I don't think this is made from post-consumer recycled material or else that would be a really solid selling point that they should include on their product page. It's missing the boat on the other half of whether or not this is consciously created. Overall, it gets a three there. The final score for the Honest Beauty Liquid Lipstick is a 26 out of 30. It performed incredibly well, really a huge fan, and for the price, so nice to see something with a great ingredients list, solid, solid performance, and it's not costing $35 because these prices can be ridiculous. Yay, Honest Beauty for that. The pros, I mean, where do I start? Like I said, color, performance, long lasting, non-drying, great shade range, vegan and cruelty free, I could go on. The cons, did need to reapply. This is me nitpicking, trying to find a con. I found one, kind of. There's more plastic in the world now, which, I can't go into that right now. It's it's another topic entirely. But anyway, those are the cons. And the final verdict is, would I repurchase this? Well, first of all, it was gifted, like I said, but if I bought it in the first place, would I buy it again? Absolutely, I would try as many colors out as I possibly could. So I am a huge fan of this, if you couldn't tell. Highly recommend it, Style Shaker approved. So that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this review and you enjoy this channel, please give this video a thumbs up to support. It really, really makes a difference and it's two seconds of your time and I am so grateful and appreciate it. Share it with your friends, share it with your family, share it with whoever you think needs to see this. That's it. I'm done.